cool. Where? I don't know. You are counting now. <laughs> this was... It's the final of the countdown. <laughs> Yeah. A lot, a lot, a lot. I love to see her laughing. So, guys, uh, welcome and welcome back to our channel, David welcome. and Mary. And uh, guys, kindly subscribe, like, and comment. comment, and share before we say anything. If you are just watching, guys, kindly subscribe. Subscribe. It's just free, 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 free. Subscribe. What mean kindly? Just like a nice word to, to ask in, like, uh, how to say, humble. You know humble? No. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. I want to do that. So, guys. Uh, um, mm. uh. Guys, uh, we're going to make a number of videos, uh, different, different, but we are going to talk about... Uh, about our marriage. How many papers we have to arrive? Marrying a Spanish. What document? Which document you need when you want to marry a Spaniard and in Spain? Not in Kenya or not the other side. We're gonna talk here, 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 here in Spain. When you are marrying a Spaniard, you are here as a in Spain country, the country of Spain. So, I think every country has different requirements, right? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. So, me as a Kenyan or a Kenyan marrying a Spaniard, I needed different papers. And maybe you will go and find we have another country marrying a, Span a Spaniard. They will be asked different things. Maybe have some which are similar, like a certificate of impediment, birth certificate, but maybe we will have some other things which are not similar to what they ask me, or so which are depending less. depending on the laws of the country. No, it's depending on the law of Spain, because you are marrying a Spaniard here. Because not I don't know if you, for example, I am in Kenya and I want to marry you, Spain gonna ask to me for the or Kenya gonna ask to me for the permission or if, yes. if I have any impediment or something like yes that. you will have you will have but we have some other extra papers that they might require there or not and depending to which country so I'm gonna talk about as a Kenyan marrying Spaniard and as a Spaniard what he need for me to get all these requirements from back from home. This I'm gonna say so because I never knew it, but until I went to the embassy, then they told me you need this also from your husband to be. So, at a first thing, what we all need, you know, what we all need. I remember in they asked to me my my DNA or DNA, the impadron, mm -hmm. because we need impadron. They need to know where, if you have anywhere to, to live, especially for you. And uh, the birth certificate. Mm -hmm. That was it. Yeah. That's for me, That's by for myself. Mm. For you, you need the permission. The certificate you don't have impediment from Kenya at that time. I have my passport. Your passport. Yeah. And? And which more? I don't remember which more. I needed something else from you. What they were asking for me to hand over in, in the embassy. Then in Kenya, you know. So they needed your passport copy. 
And that is what when you went for the passport, before you didn't have a passport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. So for David, for me to send the papers... It's a long time ago and they was making to us crazy. They, oof. Long time, eh? moving papers. Uh, papers they were asking from my side and... Uh, uh, the problem they were not saying all the papers they needed. Like what the Kenyans embassy and the Kenya government were asking from me. David passport copy. Because when they asked me, I said, but it's for my side. He said, no, one day he has to visit Kenya. So he need passport, you know. They, <laughs> don't, they don't need David's an uh, identification card. They need his passport copy. And that's why the video had to go and apply for the passport. Then they needed my my passport. I gave you your birth certificate. My birth certificate. But the embassy did not uh, like uh, scrutinize me. They want the birth certificate, you know. I just needed my passport copy. My my identification card and uh, what else and i had to write a letter you know we have those documents on on google but when you go in the embassy they give you the all the papers needed you go and uh, and uh, fill the form they give you the form then they give me the form to write a letter a letter addressing me and uh, david you know then the, all these things had to be sent to Kenya. So for birth certificate, it was mostly needed here, but not in my country at, at the first glance. So more requirements were on my side than on David's side. So as you have heard on my side, they just needed a uh, uh, passport, my identification card copy and um, yeah what else uh, only those then i needed to write a letter because they gave me those papers it was just you fill in the forms then another like uh, a, a blank paper with the uh, the finishings and the starting so you need to fill that letter and send all of them to the embassy you know so from the embassy they have to send back in Kenya then when the papers come they will come back to the embassy remember when they are sending all these things they just don't go and uh, be checked in Nairobi they send direct to you they send to Nairobi then in Nairobi they send to your um, your district so your district is the one to scrutinize sent until to your to your division or sub county to know every details are concerning you so if you are in kenya you have to know which place you live so that that letter gonna go in those stages until it reached to your nearest place where they identify you very well so that was all that needed when I was sending back here, what we needed back here, yeah, David. What? Here in here in the court, in the court, as David said, he needed only his identification card. I remember the card. first time they sent that permission. I don't know why. After you get those uh, papers back from home, but before they come back from home, make sure, make sure they have stamp like uh, they have stamp from the government and, the, and translate oh, no translate is here stamp they they have to stamp it yeah the stamp from the country from, they have stamp from my country and it's start if you don't know where to go to get this stamp you have to go to the huduma center in Nairobi or your county county where you are or then from there they have to send you to the 
I don't know why. We have a place in Kenya they send because I was using <coughs> I was using uh, my my family to make those papers. Then they send you to the foreign affairs ministry and all these places you pay who are coming in pieces. But if you I'm just giving this information in case one of you want to and I've had a number of people asking me for all this information. So I put here it can help a lot than me explaining to each and everyone, right? So make sure all these things you make sure they have stamp from foreign affairs to all those stages. When you take them at the Huduma Center, they were gonna explain to you from here, take to this place. From yeah. this place, take to this place. Because then, if you try to remember to say it for the embassy before, don't forget because we have to send again. Yeah. Then, uh, you, if you have a family, they can do it too for you. Yeah, but even if your family move you, we have to pay. Yeah, you pay a lot. You pay a lot if when you, you use people. the first but, time, uh, remember everything and try to live ready because if not, you will have to go to do again, send there again and pay again. Descending and paying, descending and paying like we had, we, we didn't know what we were doing. So then from there also, make sure you send all those papers uh but certificate certificate of impediment make sure the two original make sure you have to send to the spanish embassy in your country or in my case spanish embassy in kenya they have to to stamp it and assign it then they will give back to the person who is who gonna send it to us you know mm -hmm. so when the papers reach here now the pro the remaining process is to the court if you are marrying in the court so for instance for us we married in the court which we needed only things concerning the court you know in the court what they were asking us for me, I was the one to give more and more of the information. So I needed also that birth certificate, original, copy, translated. Certificate of Empadron, original, copy, translated. And signed. Make sure when they come here, don't just sent to the court make sure they pass in the embassy here in spain your embassy on my case kenya embassy in spain they it had to pass there they need to stamp it and if you want this all this to be very well, well when they come all together all of them also sent to the kenya embassy and tell them you need to translate you need all the stamps also for the foreign affairs here, here in Spain, the Kenya embassy, let the Kenya embassy do it for you because they are in those offices, they know where to go. You put into your mind. When they send all those information, birth certificate, certificate of impairment, make sure you send all of them to the embassy. Tell them you need a copy, you need to translate each of them then from there embassy itself they know what to do they gonna send to the foreign affairs ministry here in spain then foreign affairs ministry will finish put all the stamp needed and send back to the embassy now from the embassy the papers gonna come back to us or to you so from your side now if you have all those papers you take to the court but before you start thinking of that try to make sure you know all everything needed in the court sometimes it's very hard to get information here in spain when you go to the court yourself 
sometimes you might be forced to use the lawyer because lawyer have a very like a lawyer have all information or when they go in the court they got to get all information compared to your personal so if you use the lawyer it's going to be more quick and easier done than you use you do yourself for instance we are doing by ourselves we had a very hard time until we went to the lawyer then everything got solved quickly right yeah so when all this information came here we didn't know we were missing one thing and this thing they didn't tell us at at before we came to notice later after we handed every information to the lawyer and uh, they were asking for the um, a letter also because even the embassy did not know about this letter they were asking for written letter from my country and i didn't know where to get this letter so i had to ask the embassy again even explanation was so hard so i gave the lawyer the mandate to talk to the embassy so that the lawyer can explain to them what they really need so that one got solved and uh, the embassy itself had to write to me that written letter apart from certificate of impediment they were asking that letter which i got from written by the embassy and they sent back to me a copy and a copy to the lawyer so depending to where you are even here in spain depending to which place you are the kind of papers needed it will depend to the where you are the court where you are because here in spain you might find a certain place has different system depending on the rulers of the country i don't know how how we be in other ones no like in the other like you might go in madrid you find a different thing you know in court there or maybe you go in uh, maybe you go in north uh, north spain you find a different thing needed maybe you go in barcelona you find they need a different thing you know so here in here in uh, rota they were asking me for that letter which i got it from the embassy in kenya i didn't know where to get it so make sure you you have to get all this information before you start one thing might make you delay to do everything and one thing you have to put into mind all these papers they can only last for six months delaying so on this man he didn't have more and more information he needed but scrutiny to scrutinize yeah, and the good news honey is they 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 start to do in madrid because before you you we had to go to france when you when you your passport yeah i asked them i asked them before it was very hard if not we could not have done the wedding you know yeah. we could not have done because That's i could i could not go to to france all this are just the papers needed to get married to a spaniard here in spain but i'm talking here in spain you are marrying a spaniard in kenya that's a different case the kenya government will have all the requirements needed so check with the kenya government if you want to marry a spaniard in kenya or a spaniard marrying a kenya where do you got spaniard this is spanish Yeah they are but Spaniard is okay. I never hear like that. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. <laughs> the video the video stay in a different way. In English always is Spanish. No, it's Spaniard also. It's Kenyan. It's same, it's same. You need to understand. Okay. Yeah, Spanish, Spaniard, Espanol, Española. Yes, mm. oh, yes. Sir. <laughs> yeah so all these things i'm saying is all about any other nationality whether a man a woman marrying a spanish man, person david says say i call spanish not spaniard <laughs> i never use spaniard <laughs> yeah yeah and make sure 
the one who is marrying you here, the Spanish person, a woman, a man marrying you here, has a house. If you don't have a house, I don't know, it can happen. I think the wedding can happen, but to get other paperwork, we're going to talk about that one later in another video. But we just told you all the requirements and make sure you are on time. The paper should not expire. They just last only six months. After that, it's done. You have to restart again and check in your court. The goodness is that if the court accepts those papers before they expire, then when they are in the court and they didn't give you the day yet and they expire while they, in the, they are in the court, the wedding will go on as normal because they are the ones who delayed, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're wrong. It's their wrong, not your wrong. So that's, those are just part of paperwork needed in case one of you gonna find him or herself marrying a Spaniard depending which place the Spaniard person lives or the Spanish person lives, Spaniola, Spaniol, <laughs> <laughs> live, those are the paperwork needed for you to marry them here in Spain. In Kenya, maybe it's a different case, but I think we have maybe a slightly different, which I know the Kenya government may need. But uh, I had one, one person explaining what... Uh, another nationality needed for her to marry for, for that nationality to marry her in Kenya so he was explaining same different like what they needed here but here the only thing that was a little bit different is like is um is that letter a written letter that needed from court you know mm -hmm. apart apart from certificate of impediment they needed another letter another written letter from my country but which was written by the embassy. I'm lucky the embassy did it. So, in case one of you marrying Spanish person, those are the paperwork. Or another European. But we are in Spain. I don't know the European what they Yeah, mean. yeah, yeah. We were talking about that. Yeah. So, <coughs> so, those are the things you need when you ma want to marry a Spanish. For those who are asking me kindly check on this video or the one who will find herself or himself want to marry a Spanish person, check on this video and those are the paperwork needed. Those are only documents, nothing more. We're going to make a, another video needing another process of the, another process before you go to marry. Do we have put them into stages so that you can be able to understand very well. So we reach there and we say like, comment, comment subscribe. subscribe. We love, love you. you. And happy new year. Happy new year. And let's meet in the next video guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.